Only Arif Jis will go on record. Sir, 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 I am here to express my views Please. on behalf of CPIM party. Arif Jis. Sir, I am here to express my views on behalf of CPIM party. I wholeheartedly welcome the Constitution 128th Amendment Bill 2023, introduced by the government, because it aims to achieve. Sir, it is an undisputed fact. Women should have prominent role in the law-making process as well as policy decisions and discussions in this regard started long back in our country. But now, what this government is trying to cover up all such previous efforts and project the introduction of the bill as something which only BJP government, government could achieve. Sir, the credit for this legislation should go to all the women organizations and leaders, including Comrade Brinda Karat, Ani Raja, and Comrade Simadi Teacher, and those who have approached the Honorable Supreme Court to implement the reservation for women and thus to ensure equal justice and equal status as promised by the Constitution. Sir, and my, my red salute for all those known and unknown leaders for their efforts all these years. Sir, by introducing this bill at the fag end of the tenure of this Lok Sabha and that too with the provision note implementable in new future. The government has exposed the hollowness of its pseudo-hearted attempt before the women of the country. So, sir, the government kept all of us in the dark in respect of the list of business till the last moment in the blatant disregard of the rules of the procedure follow the till date. Even though even though we had no knowledge about the bill in its introduction, it is proof that all the people of BJP knew about in advance. We were, we were all witnessed. They're, they are trusted persons more than the members of the parliament. It is not mentioned that it is another affront to democracy. Sir, why the government plays such a high voltage drama, sir, just to make mockery of this house and the democratic principles? Sir, the BJP has promised to introduce 33 reservations for women in Parliament and State Assemblies way back in 2014 in its election manifesto. Had the first Modi government taken lead for it as promised at its manifesto, this House now would have at least one-third women members, if not more. Sir, even in 2019, soon after coming to power for the second day, they had the opportunity to bring such a reform if they actually wish to implement it. Sir, and the government got pass a number of legislations without even discussion in the House or referring to the standing committee, sir. On all such occasions, the BJP as well as the government kept mum on women reservation and chose to introduce the bill after almost four and a half years of its second tenure. Sir, it goes without saying that you are going to be cursed by the women just as you entered the new parliament building with your right foot on the very sacred Vinayaka Chaturthi day with the discussion of cheating women because there will be no women reserve for many years. Sir, from the timing of the introduction of the bill, when the upcoming parliament election is in forefront, it is crystal clear that this bill was introduced just to give reply to the Honorable Supreme Court in a public interest litigation, sir. I wish to quote what the Honorable Supreme Court asked the government on August 11th, almost a month back, during the hearing of the public interest litigation regarding the women reservation, sir. I quote the, I quote the Honorable Supreme Court. You have no filed a reply. Why are you shying away? Why have you not filed a reply? So you want to implement it or not is too important an issue to be thrown on the back burner. Sir, it is too important. It concerns all of us. Sir, this is what Honorable Supreme Court asked the government. And this bill is last resort to answer those questions, sir. Sir, there is another instance in the Supreme Court 
recently expressed its displeasure to the government over its handling of the issue of women reservation LSC in Nagaland, sir. So, Honorable Supreme Court asked, I quote, you take extreme stands against the another state governments who are not available to you, but you, you are, your own government is violating the constitutional provisions and you do not want to say something. And this government had no answer, sir. Sir, coming in the content of the bill is worth of the mentioned state statement of object and reason of this bill, which is probably the funniest among all the bills introduced so far in this house. Sir, right from the regime of Rajiv Gandhi and the other prime ministers and ministries, attempts were Please made conclude. to pass. Sir, sir. Please conclude. Sir, sir. sir one, one minute. Sir, bill in this house and even the Rajya Sabha had passed in 2010. And this history should have been mentioned in the statement of objects and reason. Instead, what our law minister has included is mere jargon such as Samaradagal, Vigasit Bharat, Nari Shakti, and slogans such as Sabka Asa, Sabka Viga, Sabka Vishwas, Sabka Prayas, and put all forward by the Prime Minister. Sir, we have seen how this government has utilized to gain cheap popularity in including BJP's flags color and lotus symbol in the logo of G20 and portraying success Chandrayaan 3 as a political victory of BJP is also an example of how degrading propaganda yeah, you thank will you. use. Please conclude. Sir, 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 I'm concluding. concluding. I'm concluding. Only, only one minute. Sir, I demand the government that the statement of objects and reason be removed from the political jargons and contain only facts and reasons and history of the legislation. Sir, I am standing the representative of the people of the state of Kerala, which implemented a reservation for women in Panjayat Raj institution way back in the 1990, in 1991, 30, 32 years back, when Jilla Council were formed, in which I was also elected as a member of 30 percentage of the seats were reserved for women. And 2008, we enhanced the reservation of women representatives in local self-government institutions to 50 percentage, much above the constitutional mandate. Yes, only, only one word, sir, only one word. Sir, only. sir, I am proud to say that our state was the first state to give reservation for women in, in LSG than any other state in the country. So the claim of the government that has taken the historic decision is nothing but a political gimmick to fool the women voters in the country. So, therefore, I request on behalf of CPIM that without waiting for delimitation and census, this reservation bill for women should Please. be implemented in the upcoming election of 2024. Yeah, okay, thank you. With these words, I can go to my speech, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, in a house of five